tapped him, you know, he turned around and it was like, what up, man? Turned around, he was like, are you fireable or not? I said, yeah. He said, you from Sinnoh Park? I said, yeah. And he said, yeah, bro, I respect you. That's the first thing he said. He said, I respect you, bro. And uh, I told him, you know, I said, I respect you too. He said, nah, I've been following your campaign on IG. He said, but really, I've been hearing about you since I was a young nigga out here. He said, and uh, your name always been 100. When he told me about his song, he said, bro, bullets ain't got no name? I said, yeah. He said, I done seen it happen. We got cracking. Six minutes later, they was right back at us. Ten minutes later, we was right back at them. I said, yeah. He said, bro, it's talking about you. All right, man, right, right now we're here at Field Me, the penthouse studios, you know, at the circle. You know, we call it, loyalty has its privileges, LHIP. It's a wink from the wood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the label. It's uh, loyalty has its privileges. So right now, we in here working right now, putting some, put some music together for 2020. We feel about to come real heavy in rotation. We got some things jumping off that's about to just, we're about to, we're about to, we're about to beat some heads in with this music we got coming, back to back to back. I let us from Siberia. Anybody that know my story, you know I just did 12 years. And uh, I did, you know, over a decade in Pelican Bay. Oh, so, 10 years in Pelican Bay. Yeah, so anybody know about Pelican Bay, you know what I'm saying? You got prisons, you got regular prisons, but you got Pelican Bay, that's just a whole nother orbit, you feel me? So when you up there, you get the feeling like you in Siberia. So basically everything that I went through, you know, writing home, you know, letters. I've been, I've been home, they have violated me and sent me right back. I, uh, I came to a halfway house, so really I was still up under supervision. So before I was up with my time at the halfway house, they had violated me and sent me back. When was this? This was uh, what, last year. So I've been, I've been home a year now. Okay. I've been home a year now, so I'm still on papers, you know. So uh, I still, I still got to walk a tight line, you know, because they got me on that high risk. Did you come from Pelican Bay to Freedom, or did they step you down first? No, I went from Pelican Bay, and it really wasn't a step down, because like a lot of times people would be like, oh man, you know, he politic, or he's a serious cat, but you know what I'm saying, serious to save your life, you feel me? When, in them type of environments, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's cool to crack a smile, it's cool to play, it's cool to, but, it's real shit going on out here, you feel me? So, man, it's like, uh, I didn't come home with any complexes or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Still, yeah, I'm surprised to hear you yeah. that much, you know that. Yeah, so, it, you know, it's, man, I'm blessed, you feel me? I'm blessed, even after all of that, I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? It, was, it's, it ain't nothing but a testimony. And, and talk about, just briefly, I mean, when like you say you're blessed and you die every week and all your other friends, like, for guys who are in that, intense atmosphere and do have a family or friends network to get out to like you did yeah. it's still hard but for those guys that don't have that whether it's because maybe no one wants to be around yeah. them or just bad luck of life it's even harder so without yeah. that family and friend support where would you be it might sound crazy right and, and uh the ones that don't have that support you know and i and, and my album i'm gonna be the voice for them you feel me because being up there on them yards, you got cats that ain't made no sacrifices, ain't never did nothing, but they might have all the money, you feel me? So it's a popularity contest, you know what I'm saying? And cats uh, praise these dudes and, 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 and pay homage to these dudes, right? But then you might have a youngster over here that don't have no family support, you feel me? All he knows is blood, cuz, you know what I'm saying? Uh, essay, you know, you never know, whatever, whatever his car is, but uh, he ain't got no support, no TV, no nothing, you feel me, no cosmetics, no nothing, but every time something comes up for the cause, he the first one to step up, you know what I'm saying, and, and stay devoted to it, go back there to the shoe, do his time with nothing, come back out and stay solid, and those guys them, the ones, be getting taken care them of. is the ones that, you feel me, that I take up under my wing. Them is the ones that I embrace, you feel me? Because I know that it's really, he internally strong. You feel me? A lot of this make you externally strong. It's a different type of character when you're internally strong, you feel me? And a lot of cats ain't internally strong no more, you feel me? That's why you see the weird shit that goes on out here nowadays, you feel me? That's why you see cats be out here shooting up everything but then go to jail and first time you get 
a two-on-one DP, he go PC because, you know what I'm saying, it, it was all built up on, 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 on eggshells, you feel me? You know, so, man, like, and for wow. those, for those that's, that's still in there, man, I saw everything, like, you don't never want to see nobody in jail. I don't want to see my worst enemy in jail, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even a physical aspect of it because growing up in the streets, we, we you know, we trained to become warriors or whatever, but it's more the spiritual and emotional, you feel me? So, to cast that, you got, it's all about how you look at it. How I looked at mine was when they broke me off to 12, it's like, okay, I could say I'm going to prison for 12 years, or I could say I'm going to this university for 12 years. You were like 26, 27? Right? Yeah, 27. I just came home from doing like six and some change before that, so. Oh, so you've been in uh, 18 of the last 20-something years? I probably ain't got like 20-something years in. So, you know, what was the last incident, just vaguely? Something violent, obviously. The last incident? I mean, the last... what you got the 12 years for was a violent crime. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was a couple of robberies, and then before that, I had a couple of murders that I beat. Then before that, I had carjacking, before that, like some more robberies. Once your, once your face gets in the book and they're putting it in and, front of different victims. But see, my, my, my face be out the book for a while because every time they get me, I'll be gone. <laughs> you feel me? I'll be gone. When they, when they see me again, I got a goatee. And they like, man, ain't that that little kid that used to, yeah, man, he, didn't, he was gone for a while. So where, um, you know, so where what, what part of uh, the LA general area are you from? I'm from Inglewood. And yeah. for those, I mean, that's a name that, I mean, I'm living here now, but I'm from Detroit. Yeah. So I'm kind of getting a sense of how the different areas are. Yeah, but. High Park, Okay, Park. so he, that's right. I'd say I always thought of Inglewood being way down by the airport, but it's big, right? Yeah, yeah, Inglewood. The airport is like right out, right there next to Inglewood. You know, oh, we and like and High Park is the, is the Nipsey Hussle area, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we, that, that's adjacent to the part of Inglewood you're from? Yeah. Yeah, like Hyde Park, basically, when I step out on my front porch, I can look up the street, and I can see Nip, and them hanging out across the light. Oh, wow. I can look this way, I can see 211, you know what I'm saying? The north. We all the north right here, you feel me, on Hyde Park, and then across West Boulevard, Nip, Pac-Man, J-Stone, you know, the All Money in, you know, 6-0, they all right there, but it's like, it's... Has that neighborhood changed? Like being gone that long, did you get out and does it feel like it gentrified at all? Or that's still the heart of South Central? Changing a little? You see a lot of change. You see a lot of change. You see a lot of buildings. Bad, good and bad. One thing I will say, like sliding through, both sides, you don't really see a lot of hanging out no more. You know what I'm saying? So when that aspect is good, you know what I'm saying? Because before it used to just drive down the street and it's just, man, please don't let these guys walk up on our car. Oh, like, right in face, yeah. yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like for the better, you know what I'm saying? But I think a lot of people are becoming more and more conscious now, you know what I'm saying? So that part aspect is better, you know what I'm saying? But we still got a ways to go though. You know, we still got a ways to go, but, you know, each one teach one, one at a time, you know, we reach one, so. And were you doing music before you, I mean, kind of your whole life, even in the midst of getting locked up, or did you really start getting serious with it now? Yeah, I've always been with the music, but it was never really just dead on, like, oh, I'm going to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Because i never been one to just sit down and just write all day, just write well, song after song, right yeah, now. you feel me? It's like... You know, we, we was the type to do a show, and on the way back from the show, just, man, catch something at the light. <laughs> it, just, it just happened like that, you feel me? So now it's to the point now, it's like, either I'm going to put the bullshit to the back and put my livelihood in, and what means my responsibilities and what means most to the front, you know, because before, we, we didn't have no mind, you know what I'm saying? And now wolves inside of a person, you know what I'm saying? It's which one you feed more. Cause some days I wake up and that, 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 you feel me? That, that hunger. That yeah, you know what I'm saying? Release the crack. And, and it's so easy. 
You know, you see the yeah, staying out and staying free is the is the hard part. Exactly. And I always tell my friends who I know could easily pick up the phone, say, oh, I'm proud of you. If I see them struggling to the little bit I can, try to yeah. try to help out, at least take the edge off the hard part. Yeah. So now it's, it's which one you gonna feed more? Is you know, it's easy like 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 uh, J O Felony said, it's easy to get in. But it's hard to get out, you feel me? And like I said, I, I, I never been one to go in for two months, three months. Well, that's all you know over. what I'm saying? Like, man, Just get that in man, it's that's a lot. That's, 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 I was built that, you feel me? That's over with. You know what I'm saying? And now I, I know what it is now, you feel me? How do you know, uh, how, how long did your relationship with Wink go back? And what, tell me about him just a little bit. Man, put it like this. When they say loyalty has its privileges, me and Wink been on each other over. I just did 12, you feel me? Me and Wink been, this, this is going on 20 years now. You know what I'm saying? I remember when, this like, this was way back like 2004, what? 2004? 2004, you know what I'm saying? This is when, well, look, I was out here like BG, Chopper City in the ghetto. <laughs> I, I was out pulling up the Man, here, put this up. Man, give me another one. You feel me? Man. And I'm talking about way back then. Wink was already grounded, like, you feel me? And man, cats, man, cats don't give, man, cats don't give respect where it's due. You feel me? A lot of these cats that's on right now coming out of our section, you feel me? When they didn't have a dollar to get in those studios, man. He was opening them doors to let us go up in there oh, works, and man. lay our shit down. You feel right, me? Right. Like you feel me? And cats act like they didn't forgot, you know what I'm saying? But he opened his doors for us, you know what I'm saying? The one, the one asking a dime used to sit up in, in that room with us, you feel me? That hot room, you know what I'm saying? We used to get it done though, you know what I'm saying? So man, Wink always been 100 with that, you know what I'm saying? Man, he always been a homie that you, man, you can count on, you feel me? And, and now, man, I'm just thankful to God that I'm seeing the, the fruits of his labor starting to pay off, you feel me? It's paying off now only, after all of that, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause he been, in, he been in the game for it, right. you know what I'm saying? But he was just never in the forefront, you know what I'm saying? So man, everything that's happening right now, he deserved that. Cause he been 100 since, man, since the day one, 100. Now, uh, without getting into, you know, specifics and names of organizations, but um, you in the past said you had some sort of conflict with Nipsey and you were able to you kind of randomly bump into him Right before he passed, he had a positive interaction, uh, like the day or two before he, he passed. Just kind of, where were you at, and how did you see him, and what was the interaction between you guys? This last, you know, just recently. Man. Yeah, man. Where, where, where were you at, the restaurant? Yeah, we ended up running into each other at a restaurant on uh, Slauson and Overhill, like right there, where you from. But, uh, as far as a conflict, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's just our, say you our, our neighborhood's always been at conflict since the beginning, right? But uh, it was, you know, an incident way back that. Uh, oh, let's just say involved into you personally? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it was way back, but we didn't know it at the time. So we discovered it later on, you know what I'm saying? But the same and day. This was before he was. Just before rapper. he blew, blew up as a rapper, you feel me? Probably like. 18, 19 years old or something so like that. So Nipsey definitely at least at one point was uh, yeah, man, living. He, he was really from over there. That's why I respect it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about a person being a motherfucker worst enemy nowadays because I mean, nowadays when you look around, your worst enemy might be right in your household. I mean, perfect example. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you can't think like that no more. You feel me? So, but uh. So when you guys saw each other in that restaurant that day, what, what was the vibe? What happened? Really, I think the vibe was anointed by God. It had to be, you feel me? Because it went on two or three days before uh, when I seen him. I seen him not even 24 hours before he got killed, you feel me? So I seen him Saturday evening. He got killed, what, Sunday? So, what did he you walked guys, in. Did you have much of a conversation? I saw uh, him exchanging a lot of texts. Yeah, it, 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 it was crazy. I woke up that morning. I think I woke up in like Manhattan Beach or something like that. And you know, me and baby, we were smashing back. And I'm like, we were trying to get something to eat, you feel me? But we couldn't make up where we was about to eat at. So when you go into the jungles, 
once you hit Slauson and Overhill, once you pass Slauson, is it going up the, uh, what's that, Overhill? Yeah. You know, it's nothing right there, you feel me? So it's like either we gonna eat somewhere right here, or, you know what I'm saying? So we got right there to the light. And I'm like, man, fuck it, just go right here, you know what I'm saying? I said, I remember I had eight right here when I first got out the pen, like 2004 or something. So it ain't the little, the one on the corner, it's the little hole in the wall right there, a little Mexican restaurant. So I walked in, or no, she walked in first, and I just seen her turn around and look like, like, you feel me? And I was having my, I think I was looking at my phone or something, and looked up, and I just seen him, you know what I'm saying? He was standing in the doorway, basically. So uh, I had to like tap him to get past. And uh, when I tapped him, you know, he turned around and it was like, what up, Nip? And he looked at me, you know, it was kind of like, we both did, though, it was like, like you know? Like, damn, all right, you <laughs> feel me? All right. <laughs> yeah, he was by himself, you know what I mean? But he had his, he, he told me in our conversation, like, later on, that uh, he was like, man, my daughter in the car, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but he didn't have no, uh, no security. No, nah, no, nah, man, Nip a real nigga, man, you feel me? So, uh, Unless, I mean, it was some cats in the back, but I don't even think he was with them. Yeah, because I remember, nah, nothing. nah, it was, they was way in the back parking lot because I pulled back there first. And I seen some cats back there and I was clowning. When, we, when I was clowning with baby, I'm like, I'm like, oh, there they is. And she's like, why would you park right here? And ooh, I'm like, man, I ain't tripping off that. I'm about to go in here, you know what I'm saying? So we ended up parking on the side and we walked in. But nah, he wasn't with nobody. He was, uh, he was getting a, uh, a little green, green machine. A little green, green uh, drink or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's just crazy though because when I walked in, he was like leaning on the counter. He was talking to somebody. When I tapped him, uh, walked past. We both, you know what I'm saying? We looked and it was like, uh, what up, yep? You feel me? I smiled like, what up, yep? And uh, he said, you know, he nodded like, what up, bro? And when I got ready to walk off, he, uh, he said, hey, excuse me. I turned around, he was like, are you firebug, huh? I said, yeah. He said, you from Sentinel Park? I said, yeah. They said, yeah, bro, I respect you. That's the first thing he said. He said, I respect you, bro. And uh, I told him, you know, I said, I respect you too. He said, nah, I've been following your campaign on IG. He said, but really, I've been hearing about you since I was a young nigga out here. He said, and uh, your name always been 100. He said, and uh, me and my niggas, we be paying attention just because we don't press the like buttons. Just know, you know what I'm saying? We salute it, though. And I told him, I said, man, you know. Wait a second. So Within that world, and I ain't saying names, but like, you ain't supposed to hit the like button on something? No, I mean. If it's the quote unquote enemy? Yeah, I mean, you feel me? Because you, you grew up, man, okay. everything that you grew up on is to hate on. Yeah. You feel me? So any just favoritism toward them, any type is like a weakness. You feel me? I mean, that's what we came up on once upon a time. So somebody and might now, say something to somebody like, hey, what? I saw you like so and so's thing, and it might yeah. be some type nah, of Nah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be petty, you oh. feel me? Because it, it's cast that, you feel me, across tracks that, man, if, 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 if he's speaking some real shit, you feel me, I'm finna, you know what I'm saying? Especially at the level where I'm at, I'm never finna disrespect my homies, you know what I'm saying? I'm at a level now where, you know, when we grew up, well, you could probably get away with doing yeah, things, but maybe. Nah, I, I, I wouldn't take it for granted or nothing like that, you feel me? Because ain't nobody bigger than a program, but it's just, you, be, you become a man, you feel me? That's like when we was growing up, I might pronounce his hood in a, in a disrespectful manner. Like, you know what I'm saying? They gonna address my hood in a disrespectful manner. But now, I'm a grown man, so it's like, okay, you feel me, I'm from families, or you from neighborhood. I'm not finna disrespect because I just walked the yard with cats wood. We didn't have to take shit down and get other right, races to where. Right, you form together. You feel me? So for me to sit here and spread with this man, watch this man back when we go to chow and all of that, but then get back over here and say, oh man, fuck me. That's, That's an interesting uh, phenomenon, dude. I want to carry myself and be able to speak what I say behind your back, right. in your face. Because I don't never want to say, oh man, fuck this, wooty wooty woo. And then turn right here and somebody, oh man, well you just say, no, nah, we right, don't, right. I can't live my life like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm a meet aggression with aggression. And I'm gonna meet humbleness with humbleness. You feel me? And he was humble, but he was strength. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cats couldn't have did what we did. You feel me? Especially when he told me, like, bro. <laughs> you know, that, that's how they talk, like, bro. On neighborhood, bro, like, I'm about demonstration. That's what he told me. He said, I'm about demonstration. 
He said, I ain't got no more energy for nothing negative, but I'm with everything. And he said, uh, he said, I feel I'm a good judge of character and I know what I'm looking at. He said, and it ain't no secret what you was out here doing. He said, but that's why it makes me honored to deal with you because I know what you're gonna do in times of, you feel me? And you already knew what time it was. So with that right there, it wasn't about how my homies felt. It wasn't about how his homies felt. Because if it was about their opinions and what mattered, then God would have put them in that same restaurant with us. You feel me? I was in there with the lady. He was in there with, the, with his daughter. So he put us in the most docile environment to see, you feel me? And it gets so deep, you know what I'm saying, that uh, 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 it, it get deep, you feel me? Like I said, we never, but we did. You know what I'm saying? And he told me like, he told me two incidents that I never even remember. So that let me know right there, like. Oh, you guys went over all this right there in the restaurant. Man, well, we talked about 40 minutes. Wow. And this he was is standing, he was standing there. 24, 36 hours before yeah. he crossed yeah. past there and over. Man, we, 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 was, we was texting nine something that night. That happened in the afternoon the next day, and he what? And he sent that tweet out. So obviously, everything we talked about was still on his mind to make him say having strong enemies is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody oh, wanted to. Do you been, think that was possibly referring to you? I know it was referring to me. Oh wow! So when everybody was reading right in the aftermath, trying to figure out what happened at first, that was being written up like, oh, that meant there was some threat around him, but really it was a positive thing of someone that technically is my enemy or used to be has helped make me as strong as I am and I bumped into one of them and we had when a I say, conversation. When I say, when I say it gets so deep, right? It is deep. When he told me about his son, he said, bro, bullets ain't got no name? I said, yeah. He said, I done seen it happen, we got cracking. Six minutes later, they was right back at us. 10 minutes later, we was right back at them. I said, yeah. He said, bro, it's talking about you. You feel me? And, I, and it took me back, you feel me? Because it had been a situation where something happened and it led to about five shootings in one day. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back. And, uh, we just, we, we, we took a strong casualty on one of those trips, you feel me? All right, let's so, get in, that's just amazing. Let's take us back to the music, just give yeah. us a, just a last drop. Let yeah. us know who you are, what's coming, yeah. and what's popping for 2020 with Firebug and Wink and everybody. Uh, right now, like I said, man, we in the incubator right now, we putting stuff together. Wink, he got a, man, he, he got a whole lineup right now coming, you feel me? Mine's coming right behind me, but like I said, man, uh, with me, my boy right here tell you, it's, it, 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 get, it becomes a little sinister, a sinister uh, process when I, when I go in that lab because, like I said, I'm, I'm not the rapper that I just sit down and write metaphors and punchlines and, hey, tell me how this sound like, you feel me? That ain't me, you know what I'm saying? Everything I write is everything I done been through, you know what I'm saying? Everything I write is coming from firsthand knowledge where we standing up on the toilet for hours at a time to your ankles going numb because you're talking in an event, getting game, wisdom from these old heads. You feel me? So a lot of cats, ain't, they, they, they ain't going to be able to take you where I take you. You feel me? So it's a whole different process. It's a whole different, it's a whole different, it's a whole different it, it, way period for me. I'm going to say that because when I, when, I, when I go in that lab and I start writing, my beard start growing. They ain't had no haircut, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cold, it's a cold cave to go back in to relive that shit and to, to, to put that shit out there for y'all, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just letting y'all know that so y'all understand like my craft, where I'm coming from with that. Cause this shit is real life shit that, that changed me, you feel me? And that might, you know what I'm saying? What changed me might be a testimony for the next though. You know, so inshallah, man, I just pray be able to bring that to y'all real soon, 2020, far above the mayor, rightfully on.